This is a reality. Okay? This is a reality that we know about it. That's why many of those who comment, <coughs> commented on this, uh, this issue, including some Muslims as well, they don't know the reality. So they just commented and they, don't, they said, we don't want to see uh, Muslims treated differently, etc., etc. We are happy with one law and this is the British law, we are happy with it. Okay, how do you solve this problem? No one is talking about this. Just we don't want Sharia, we don't want Sharia, full stop. Okay, so this is an issue, a very important issue. This is the real problem that we are facing. So many Muslim ladies have been left alone. I remember a lady uh, who is, okay, without mentioning some of her details, Wallahi, she has been left alone for four years. Four years. And she came to me when I came to this country, and even at that time I didn't know anything about Islamic Sharia Council or Sharia courts. And at that time when she came to me, I didn't know what to do. She said, I've been left alone for four years, no husband, and w what shall I do? Okay. Of course, the civil court will not solve her problem, and even if the civil court uh, gave her an absolute, uh, absolute de or decree, nice eye, or absolute divorce, she will not accept that unless that divorce is granted by what a Muslim imam. And we know this. So, what is the solution for those people? They claim that. Oh, Sharia is against women, Sharia is etc., etc., discriminating, discriminating against women, and so on and so forth. But mainly, if you go to Islamic Sharia Council, for example, here, you will say that most of our clients, almost all of them, are women coming for solutions. And of course, they might be angry before if we try to reconcile, they just want divorce, but once we solve their problems, either if they have been left alone and then we grant them marriage dissolution, they become very thankful to Islamic Sharia Council because of the service that we have provided them with. Okay, and not only that, many European countries come to us because they want to implement Sharia courts there. Many European, many Muslims in many European countries they want to have our experience in setting a Sharia court there. Why? Mainly because of what the problems facing Muslim ladies in their countries. So, what is the solution for this problem? Okay, we don't want Sharia, give us a solution. No solution. Okay, no solution. In reality, no solution. And the other thing, whether they say that we don't want Sharia, we just want one law, we are happy uh, of one law, etc., etc. Okay, Sharia is already operating, whether you accept it or you don't accept it. Other than the points that I mentioned, Sharia is already... If there is an Imam and if there is a Masjid, it means part of the Muslim personal law is implemented. Because if a husband wants to divorce his wife and he wants to get her back, he will go to the Imam of the Masjid, whether there is a Sharia court or whether there is no Sharia court. So if there is a Masjid and there is an Imam, Sharia is already there, especially in this issue of Muslim personal law. So, what we want is to regulate that matter. We are civilized. We want to work within the system. We don't want to work outside the system. Although we are working. For example, Sharia Council have been established since 1982. Okay, we are working for 20 plus years. And there are more than maybe 8,000 cases of divorce and marriage dissolution. But those who are asking for Sharia are civilized people. They want this Sharia, this part of Sharia, to be regulated by the regulations of the government. What's wrong with that? Okay, this is another point to be 
mentioned. Then the uh, last thing that I would like to mention is that one th we are asking about Sharia not to run side by side with the British system or the uh, personal law, the Br British personal law. We are asking for Sharia to be included, integrated, embedded. So we will end up with one system. It doesn't mean, brothers, it doesn't mean that when they accuse us of having or asking for parallel systems and then Muslims start to defend, no, we don't want parallel system. First of all, who said that parallel systems is something bad? Maybe in many countries there are parallel systems working together and it is fine and this is used as a matter of enrichment for that system. In Malaysia, for example, there are parallel systems. There is a system for the Malay, who are the majority of population, and there, there is another system for the Chinese, who constitute maybe 30% of the population there, and the Indians, okay, who constitute maybe 10% of the population there. So this is a parallel system, and it is working fine. And even, even in in India, once India was under colony, uh, the British system was implemented there, but the, uh, the Sharia in personal matters was recognized there, and there were courts for Sharia at that time, under the British system in India at that time. So is there anything wrong of having something similar? Not even something similar. As we said, just a few amendments to be amended to some of the acts. Okay? I, I don't think that there is something uh, difficult here. Yes, maybe, maybe there are some uh, difficulties to be encountered here. Okay? But... Uh, we have to find solutions for them.